Alright, so this next reaction is Ed's promise to scar Scott Rollins' soul inside and hell in the cell on SmackDown October 15, 2021. Yes, in case you don't know, Ed's has finally returned and right after the injuries of, uh, you know, the prick Steph Rollins, uh, uh, somehow it made it clear that Ed will challenge Steph Rollins in the hell in I didn't say in the hell <laughs> I, I meant to say it um to the hell in the cell match on Crown Jewels now I'm very excited about it cause I hope Ed will close a casting on this bitch named Steph Rollins cause we are actually sick of tire stuff and I don't know how but it's personal you know right right after when Step Rollins you know invade his property disrespect his family yeah no wonder that Step Rollins is a, is a piece of shit let's hope it's with a close cast on him because um he, he wins uh, at SummerSlam. He will do it again on Crown Jewels. It's to make Ed bleed like a little, um, I don't know, pig that he are, I guess. But, um, but let's hear what he has to say in five, four, three, two, beep, beep. So, Seth, you're the only guy that within this ring comes close to matching my intensity, comes close to matching my passion, some might say my obsession for this. Close, but not quite. Not yet. Now, are, are you Edge Light? No. No, you're not, man. I can admit that I was wrong. You are decidedly your own man. You are Seth freaking Rollins. Because of that, because of that, I gotta end this. Because if yeah. I don't, our families continue to be affected by this. Now, I could go to your house. I could have a chance encounter with Bex. Oh. I mean, heaven knows we have some history. But I'm not gonna do that. You see, I ah. am gonna channel it. I am gonna change the look in your eyes from this point forward. I am gonna leave you a husk of the man that everyone sees now. Yeah. Yes, sir. See, Seth, a few weeks ago, you said that you felt sorry for me, and that would be a mistake. Because you never feel sympathy for a devil and that's what we are and I damn sure won't hesitate before I put you down under my boot I had my moment of doubt and pain it's done I will not hesitate I will not have a second thought about it so yeah. it's fitting that this trilogy that our story ends in hell in a cell So, Seth, I know you're watching. I want you to lean in real close. I want you to listen closely because what I am about to say is a blueprint for your future. In Hell in a Cell, I am going to scar your soul. <laughs> and that is a scar that you never, ever heal from. <laughs> Step, you better hide your kids and hide your wives, man, because Ed is coming for that soul. 
of yours. <laughs> oh man, that damn, I'm I'm very savage. <laughs> but yo, um, that was amazing. Like, I I can't freaking wait for this hell in the cell for Ed and Seth Rollins. And wouldn't it be crazy? Like we never see any any other superstars that go for the top top of the cell. I mean we got um got Shane McMahon, you know, of course. Got Kevin Owens almost um Dean Ambrose and uh Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, uh any any almost superstars that well except the females that didn't go to the top which is was I very was I very um uh, would like to see but I don't think they would cause I don't know they get like totally injured instantly well if they land right to the table I guess I I guess so but yo let's hope is with like I said, let's just hope Ed's with a close coffin on that bitch, Seth Rollins, because, you know, everybody sick and tired of Seth Rollins and, um, his salty prick attitude. I mean, nobody likes to bully, nobody likes, you know, bullies, and, of course, and, um, I know a lot of people, you know, have their own ways. Of how to fight back against bullies. You just gotta train harder until you get ready. And Queen Edge, let's hope he could be ready to bleed this motherfucker, Steph Rollins. I don't know why I'm sounding like New Jacks, cause <laughs> I mean, call me savage. Um, I mean, Ed was savage when he talked about, like, you know, his family, of course. You know, Seth Rollins' family, of course. You know, Becky and, uh, you know. And, um, I, I have to say that it will happen. Because somehow it's going to end the feud between Ed and Seth Rollins. I can't wait to, till it happens. So, yeah. And let's hope Brock Lesnar wins. Because, um, we're all always sick and tired of Robert Reigns' asshole ways as well, because I know for a fact that if not, then who the hell could stop them? I don't know, but we'll find out. But yeah, comment down below what you think about it, and I'll.